This screencast provides additional resources to help students understand the basics of using a DePriester chart for vapor-liquid equilibrium. The vapor-liquid equilibrium behavior for hydrocarbons can be related through a simple parameter called the k-value. The vapor phase mole fraction, y sub i, is related to the liquid phase mole fraction, x sub i, by this variable k. The use of k-values for VLE is particularly useful for hydrocarbons, where non-idealities preclude the use of Raoult's law. K-values are determined empirically, with each K-value a function of temperature and pressure. Nomographs are available to determine a value of K for a given material at a fixed pressure and temperature. These nomographs are called DePriester charts, and this short screencast shows how to use a DePriester chart and how the K-value varies with temperature, pressure, and material. The use of DePriester charts is actually quite simple and involves a connect-the-dots procedure. To illustrate, I will start with methane. We know that methane is a gas at room temperature and it would take a pressure of 32,000 kilopascals to liquefy methane at room temperature. We expect the k-value to be high for methane at reasonable pressures and the simulation shows that k for methane is equal to 120 for the lowest temperature and pressure settings for this dynamic simulation. In this chart, the pressure is a line at the top and the temperature is on a line at the bottom. The family of curves in the middle are for different materials. The green circle shows the k-value for methane, the top curve on this plot. First, we will vary the pressure. As we increase the pressure up to 400 PSIA, the k-value drops. Next, we fix the pressure and vary the temperature. As the temperature is increased at a fixed pressure, the k-value increases. This makes sense, as methane will be more likely to be in the vapor phase at higher temperatures. For all materials, K will increase with temperature, with the increase being nonlinear in nature. At an intermediate temperature, we can again vary the pressure and observe the impact on K for methane. At the highest pressure and highest temperature, the K value for methane is equal to 7. Next, we will set the temperature and pressure near the middle of the ranges and will change to propane. Since propane has three carbons versus the single carbon for methane, do you expect it to be more or less volatile than methane? How will this impact the k-value? At these conditions, k for methane is equal to 38, but is only equal to 3.7 for propane. Similar to methane, we can adjust the sliders and directly witness the changes in K as the pressure and temperature are varied. As expected, the K values for propane are lower than for methane. Finally, we will look at K values for a much longer hydrocarbon, N-decane. At the same conditions, the K value changes by over 1000x, three orders of magnitude, as we change materials. Note that the k value will always be a positive number, but it is often less than 1. For n decane, at reasonable temperature, temperatures and pressures, the material is more likely to be found in the liquid phase. Therefore, the k value will be less than 1, and often much less than 1. K values are useful for performing VLE calculations with hydrocarbons, including determination of the bubble point and dew points for a mixture of materials. K values are also used in flash calculations and multi-component distillation calculations. You should understand how to obtain these values from a depriester chart.